In the spirit of the theme of this meeting, I label my presentation as we can reach new heights as long as we outfit the shuttles based on the needs and wants of our passengers. The natural history of cervical cancer gave us two powerful tools to eliminate cervical cancer as a public health problem in the world, HPV vaccination and HPV testing. And we have worked uh, a lot in those two fronts. But today I wanna share with you our trial to promote HPV vaccination among daughters of Latina immigrants in Alabama. Our goal was to promote HPV vaccination and uh, we spend a lot of time in the formative assessments. As you can see, we're focusing on girls because when we started this work, uh, the vaccine was only recommended for girls. And then we couldn't then build the inter intervention for boys because our formative assessments were done for girls. But also when we're doing the formative assessments, the community told us that they were very concerned about healthy eating uh, in the community, adapting to the new uh, eating habits in the new country. So since we need a control group, we develop another intervention to promote healthy eating and nutrition label interpretation uh, as a control group. And it turns out that both interventions were efficacious. And I cite the publications here. The primary outcomes was uh, completion of first dose and completion of all three recommended doses uh, at the time. The PEN3 and the health belief model have guided our work throughout where we map all the constructs and the intervention strategies. And also we use the community health worker model where we train community health workers to deliver the intervention in the community where the moms and daughters are. Because Latina immigrants here in Alabama are very isolated, they don't drive and they're monolingual. We did the sessions where they live. So we, the clusters were the apartment complex or the trailers where we form groups of women. They sometimes we met, met in somebody's house or we have a tent with chairs that we met outside. And the intervention consisted of four group sessions and one into individual session. And as you can see, we focus a lot on the culture, but also intertwine uh, knowledge as well as skills that were, need, were needed for them to vaccinate their daughters, like communication skills, as well as problem solving skills. The individual session that you see here is where we then narrow down to that particular woman to understand the barriers and facilitators and really assure self-efficacy that she would vaccinate their, her daughter. And the last session was more festive, talking about communication between mothers and daughters. This is the consort diagram. I just want to call attention to our retention. That was over 90% in both groups and that uh, our analysis what we use intention to treat. This is our results. Uh, as a behavioral scientist, I never had an intervention that powerful. As you can see, uh, women in the intervention group were almost 16 times more likely to vaccinate their daughters and then women in the control group. That means completion of the three doses, which has been amazing. In conclusion, we have shown that a community engaged, theory-driven, culturally relevant intervention can effectively promote vaccination among daughters of Latina immigrants in an emerging Latinx state. It takes a village. I have a wonderful group of individuals that I work with, staff and investigators, and our study was funded by the National Institute of Minority Health and Health Disparities. Thank you.